Okay, what we've done with this now is we've set the presonus to um, 44.1. come over here to the presonus you'll see that we've got a BNC clock going in every now and again this display flashes if I take the BNC clock off display locks up BNC light starts flashing it's written some data to the display I'll put that back in again 44.1 seems to sort of work and this is really important to notice that this is at 44.1 because later on we'll look at it at 48 kilohertz. Frequency of the clock here, if I put the termination on the end of my stub, pop it into my frequency counter, it's 44.11, close enough. Okay, take it back out, pop it back in here. And we've got this very strange occasional display coming up. What my system will do now, with the camera running, is to change, I'll pull out the uh, BNC. Okay, the BNC's out. She'll now change it to ADAT mode. Okay, um, we're in 44.1 ADAT mode. If you come over here to the desk. Go wide. Desk is perfectly happy with that, and that seems to be working. Go back up to the display. All right, start it. Okay, stop the music. Start it again. Well, here's another mode where every now and again you get this phantom flashing and we are in 44.1 master mode in case anybody's interested ADAT into the desk there you go, what a load of rubbish okay this device doesn't work, doesn't work properly it won't detect clocks properly on a properly terminated 75 ohm lead going into the BNC connector. It won't strip the clocks out of the ADAT interface. It comes up in lots of different modes at lots of different times for lots of different reasons. It's completely unreliable. It's not worth the money it's printed on. This is now being removed. And over here we have our new post-it notes department. There you go. The bin.